welcome to another episode of Lord to the Lobang. We're back here in the studio again to bring you Deep in the Dark Knight, Sean the Jew, and the Chindian myself, Josiah. Yes. Chin I Indian. Yeah. Don't mess with me because I got, I'm carrying a knife. <laughs> Ready to stab. Ready to stab people. Yeah. Hey, in Singapore, can uh, the Sings like, bring their knives out? Uh, some of them do. La. Really? Uh? Yes. Is, isn't it like a dangerous weapon? It is. It is. Is it against the law? It should be. Really? Yeah, by right, it should be. La. But because of the religious thing, they can uh, bypass. I think they some of them quietly do it. Right. They hide it. La. Yeah, some, like of, some of them quietly do it. Yeah. So, unless they get fucking frisked. La, then right. they're like, oh, why are you carrying a weapon? La? Oh, ah. religious. Yeah. Why are you so worried about weapons here? No, I'm just I'm just thinking like what if like a, a pimp daddy comes up to me and like, hey, you have a nice ass, I'm gonna pimp you up. I need the to defend myself. That only yeah. Ha- that's only that only happened if you're in uh, the US <laughs> and you're 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 an aspiring rapper. Yeah. Or, <laughs> or an R and B singer apparently. R and B singer. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I have to be part of a certain demographic lah. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. It's with the what breaking breaking news uh, that came out. Uh, yeah. P D D Okay wait. Pimp Daddy. Uh Educate me. How did like ho- this whole thing come to come to be? Like, who exposed the whole thing? How did it come? Okay, to so there's this kid, some Jones something lah. Right, he's a black kid, right? He's a black assume. kid. Yeah. Apparently, he was a he's a young or youngish right rapper mm. who knew PDD from a young age. Mm-hmm. Right. So not a good sign. Not a good sign. Yeah. Mm. And this guy claims that he was they they were attempting to um, sodomize him. Not only sodomize him, but groom him into liking the sodomy. Yeah, in, in into a uh, piece of meat for other men, right? So at certain points, right, where they figure that this guy is not going to be receptive towards that, yeah, mm, uh, they actually used like women, other women, to tempt him. To tempt him, and one of the women that they tried using was an underage girl. Wow! Wow! So was, when they realized was another artist, yeah. Cousin sister. Wow. So when they realize that this kid cannot be turned gay, they decide like, okay lah, let's get a let's get a girl in to yeah, to to help him. Yeah, he wa- he 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 was not willing to be sodomized and and, uh, and I think everything was recorded right. There are footages. There's there's video. There's fo- uh, photo evidence. Photo evidence and all yeah. of this was uh, presented in the complaint that they made. Right. Right. Wow. So now they are suing PDD. Right. And <laughs> they. They actually like s- were they were speaking in quotes like in, in in the court documents saying mm. that there's another rapper who's from the Philadelphia area right that's involved and then some other uh very popular singer all this kind of shit la. so people like deciphered that as Meek Mills okay and one guy is another guy is Usher oh shit Usher yeah right right so they are like yeah t- this is serious like serious stuff lah yeah. And I think that like PDD has a wasn't he um uh alleged to have raped someone like many years ago or something, like uh, sexual assault or something in the early two thousands or something, right? Yeah, I, I remember reading coming across an article or or a post on on Twitter that yes, so yeah. there there were rumors apparently for yeah. a very long time that this guy is dodgy lah, a dodgy he's, motherfucker. He's dodge, yeah, and he's playing for. For for the for boys for the for the different team. Did you know? <laughs> did you know that he was he has attempted to rebrand himself as Brother Love? <laughs> not, yeah, not Brother Love. Yeah, not looking good. Yeah, on hindsight, I think it makes sense, lah. <laughs> yeah, knowing his proclivities towards men. Yeah, and it, it's not just being gay, but like proclivities towards men, violence towards girls. Yeah, so not not just about being gay though, but mm. like pimping young boys out, right? Yeah. You know, to to other celebrities, to to other uh, uh, people in his circle, I think that's quite disgusting. That yeah, totally, totally disgusting. And aren't there rumors that he's running like a honeypot thing similar to like Jelaine Maxwell, but more towards targeted towards the black community? Mm. Yeah, the black male community, rapper, hip hop group. So, yeah, I mean. I never really liked him though. Like his music or what was his most famous like track? No, he's one of those mm. like producers like DJ Khaled, I think. Right. 
uh, there are what what's that thing? Collaborations and okay. Uh, like bringing out new artists or something. What made him famous? Though? What shot him to stardom? His, what, what, what was the old rappers? I can't remember. Yeah, I, I don't sure. really know much about him to be honest. I don't yeah, really yeah. listen to any of his like, like music. Uh, I mean, his face is uh, for me is Kim Pop. <laughs> you know, he's got those one things like you. If it's yeah. in an Asian country, it's like. Yeah. Too lah. You look at his face. Like, it's like, like he, something's he, wrong with you. He, the arrogance and everything down there. Yeah. Just like you know, if you're not surrounded by your big pussy or your your thing, right? So mm. I just want to beat you up. You know, I just I just want to smack you, like that kind of feeling lah. Right. Because he just has that look lah. Right. You mm-hmm. know, in mm-hmm. the when the yeah everything about him lah. This, and he does a very pretentious look though. To yeah. Him, right? And then like you said, not all of us know what he's really famous for. Yeah. Exactly. I don't know what brought him to fame though. Uh. The thing is, he's and I'm and I'm surprised that he's still around after all, after yeah. all these years because he was big. I think in the early two thousand, early to mid two thousands, I think. The so after that, like this what? part is nineteen in nineteen ninety three. Com- Combs, uh, uh, P D D is credited with the discovery of and cultivation of artists such as Notorious Big, Mary J Blige, and Usher. Mm. So it's the artists that made him like he's wow. the one that brought them to the international yeah. stage. Something like that, like, I like see. maybe what the. DJ Khaled also does almost the same thing like he finds a talent he the collaborates producer, like, guess, he goes yeah. in and just shouts his name DJ Khaled yeah. we, we we what we the Knicks we what the, and another one or his famous catchphrase yeah you know now it's mm. that, that thing like they're so afraid people don't know them like you know Jason Deloro like mm. every one of his songs he starts with Jason Deloro <laughs> and he's like oh now we know who sings the song right yeah you know yeah, yeah. It's like if everybody did that right, it's like before even a nice little ballad, you have to sing your name out. Yeah. Josiah sing, then you start singing your song. <laughs> just in case, lah. Just they in case in. people forget my name, right? Yeah, this is, uh, who's this? Like, oh, where's this song for? Oh, he said it at the you beginning. That's yeah. his, that's Do you think PDD does that before he comes? It's like, PDD coming! And then yeah, he just yeah. like shoots his load. No, that, that, that is like, uh, what's his name? Uh? Uh, DJ Khaled. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. We yeah. the next mm. Okay so That is one Yeah And uh, Lil, Wayne, Lil, Lil Wayne is Young money But <laughs> that's right. his like uh, His catchphrase uh. So the <laughs> court documents Right The complaint right Yeah Has pictures Oh shit Ooh. And apparently Like the submissions Contain videos as well Wow Right so <laughs> How how was all this leaked though I think someone No it's not leaked It is like There must have been Like people who are like Yeah this is get like Getting out of hand Ah okay okay Yeah and then they did the right thing by going to the authorities. Exactly. Yeah. Oh shit. His wife is actually quite cute. Oh, the guy's married, ah. No, the, the Cassie Ventura, the one that also. Yeah, the, the she's hot. Wrote, right. wrote damaging and said like claims that he's uh, he's abused her. I and see. I'm like, I see. Wow. Mm. I think yeah, it's highly likely he might be he might be swinging for the other team because, I think he just hates that she's she's prettier than him. <laughs> yeah. Right. I mean, that's her. Yeah. Yeah, that's cute. And She's that's a cutie. Dude, and before mm-hmm. that, he was J Lo. J Lo. Quelo Pese. Oh, he was banging J Lo. I don't know what they're banging. Like. He he might be swinging for both teams, like, I guess. You yeah. know, a degenerate like him. Well, I don't know about the. I mean, wh- so where's this, uh. Like, music? Oh now he really he really changed it. Love at Diddy. Like Yeah yeah. Oh damn. Anyways that that lady accused him of rape and assault. Oh Casey An- what? Yeah. I Casey won't Ventura. Say, I won't say Casey Anthony. Casey yeah. Ventura. The mother who loved her daughter so much that she killed her. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can't find the different, one. Different different Casey, different can't Casey. Can't find the one for the 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 the, the, the boy. Right, right. Not yet, right. Like. Yeah. But it's quite hard to <sighs> deny it, right? They are like, you know, when did P did he come out? Oh, <laughs> different, different coming out. Different coming out. This was, <laughs> he, he is well known for being a musical director. Like he won three Grammys for being a director. I don't uh, think he won it for his music. Like he's not a mu- uh, artist, la, I guess. Like, uh, like if he, I think I don't know how it works, lah. Basically, right. if you produce the music, he releases it, he yeah. gets nominated, and he wins. He comes out, and then he's like, yeah. Right. I'm a I'm a an award winning producer. Then he did oh you know the the shows uh-huh. uh what what's the show he did, the reality show where he gets like up and coming uh Dave Chappelle did a did did a parody of it. Like he pretends to be yeah, he, 
did a parody of the show. VMA Awards, no? No, no. It's like, uh, he did this reality show where he gets... EVA Awards. He gets uh, aspiring rappers yeah. and gets them to like, do random tasks. Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay, Dave okay. Chappelle did a parody of it. Yes. And that was very funny. So... Right. Uh, he would like do outrageous things like when he wants to walk away right he'll just jump and have his bodyguard carry him away yeah right, right. something like that la. but it's they. I think they were saying like the parody isn't too far away from what he what he actually did he in the show oh like in the show he was also quite like he, uh, in in the in the, sh- in the parody mm. Dave Chappelle asked the rappers to go out and get breast milk <laughs> get the best breast milk dude yeah, yeah. imagine right like Chappelle, right? He was just exaggerating what he has witnessed before. Right. He was one of the people who spoke about Kanye, what? Before, even before Kanye was big. Right, right. And I think, who was it? Uh, Jamie Fox. Uh, I think it might have been Jamie Fox or Chappelle. Someone shared the story, mm. like, about how when they first met Kanye West. He was talking about himself in the third person, right? Correct. Uh, James, yeah. James, uh, James, uh, Jamie Foxx. Uh, 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 Jamie Foxx. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it was at his house. It's like, who is yeah, this yeah. guy? It, it was like in a studio in his house. Yeah, it was in a yeah. backpack and everything. It was just young. And, and Chappelle was there as well. But he <laughs> was uh, he was talented. La. Yeah. yeah. And very self-assured. Right. But also that, you know, the thing is that this guy obviously didn't care. He's at this place with like Jamie Foxx and the rest, but he was, I think he was there and he was instructing Jamie Foxx. Like, and no. I think Kanye was one of those fellas, right, who was like saying that Diddy was was being butt buddies with other fellas. Yeah, Mick Mills. Oh. Yeah, you're ah, right. Mills, the yeah. Mick Mills one is like, yeah. now he's di- denying Dude, like a, a video came out, right? Like, of like, the Mick Mills guy in the pool mm. and the video was being shot by PDD. Right. And PDD called him daddy. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, I'm brother love. And, <laughs> and, uh, and Mi- uh, apparently Mick Mills came on, um, oh, he was on Twitter, like he was tweeting, saying that, yeah. you know, fuck you guys or like, some shit like that. And, <laughs> People in the comments were like, "Nigger did not deny it. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's not <laughs> addressing the issue. Yeah, he's j- he's just like fuck you guys for making this accusation. Yeah, blah 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 la. Yeah, like w- it was like, hey, you are not even defending yourself here. Yeah. Oh, you're Rodney you're Jones, music producer yeah. Rodney Jones, Lil Rod, Lil Rod, Lil, Lil Rod, Lil Rod. Also not very good. Like not 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 a not, good name. Uh, not a good name now. Accused rapper Sean P. Diddy Combs of sexually assaulting him and forcing him to sleep yes. with sex workers in a lawsuit. Yeah. Wow. Which was Male or female sex workers? Uh, both. Could be both. Maybe. Uh. I, I linked the court documents. Right. Yeah. You yeah. Can go so ahead. Hey, but if P. Diddy is paying for the sex workers. No, I because mean, it's, you it's uh, like a honey trap. Ah. Uh, yeah. Okay, okay. So you film everything and then use it against you. Like. <laughs> when they are underage. Oh, shit. So then you are done for, the right? Part like that, the part that like... Uh, Mick Mills got mm. inside was yeah. uh, he in the, in his lawsuit said that there's an unnamed rapper uh, footnote right, that, that an unnamed rapper is a Philadelphia rapper who dated Nicki Maj- Minaj, Minaj yeah. which so that was like they were outing him without like just putting his name there la. right but they did everything in their power to out him la. right mm. so if you know you're, if you know you're in a honey trap right could yeah. you like at every like 10 seconds ask the girl like so how old are you what, what's your education level? Uh, if have you're you going to proceed on... <laughs> More she's sucking your dick. Uh, like, then, have then you... Yeah, are you in college right now? <laughs> Do you have a degree? So, uh, yeah. And uh, someone posted it on Twitter. Or X. Um, Nicki Minaj on like some Instagram live with some other rapper or some shit. Yeah. Or some actor or someone. Uh, and then she was like talking about like men who play for the other team or some shit like that. Right. And then the guy was like, I don't know anyone like that. Right. And then she was like, we all know. Yeah. So vibes. We yeah. we all know as in, we, we all know. We all know who, who these people yeah. are. Like, yeah. It was like, wow. And she was like, I, I have no problems talking about that. Right. The guy right. was like, I don't know anything. <laughs> Immediately, he was like, oh, 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 you're going there. I don't know anything about Yeah. I think Cat, Cat Williams also bring out PDD, right? Yes. During the... The, during the, the fucking Shannon Sharp, the yeah. podcast. Uh, yeah. The one that broke the internet. <laughs> it's like, PDD wanting to party. You yeah. got to say no. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that, yeah, that one was uh, one of the highlights. Uh. Yeah. Sorry, that's not, that's not a good look for PDD. Mm. For Sean Combs. Brother for love. this to be... Uh, brother, brother love. love. Yeah. For this to be the follow-up. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right, like, right. This is like double doubling down on like... <laughs> Yeah. Whatever Cat Williams said, lah. Yeah. Not only about 
happy did it. It's not looking good for it's him. It's not looking good. It's not looking good for many people. Mm. And so now, like, there's there are like rumors saying that how did this guy get away with all this shit for the longest time? Mm. And because if you read down like lower in the court documents, right, they talk about like. Uh, I I think I linked it. Like uh, this guy was analyzing the court documents mm. on, on Twitter. This white guy, and there's one portion where he brags about like having a guy mm. that can handle anything for you. Right. Right. So if he needs, he can vanish any sticky scenario for you from the face of the earth. PDD bragging lah. Yeah. To so something like that. Something like that. Right. Yeah. And it's also in the documents, like court documents, saying that he the such a character or such a person's name was mentioned mm. yeah but the actual name was not mentioned in the document la. I mm. think it might have been it mm. might have been yeah I, I watched a little bit of the clip and I was like fuck if it's there I might as well go and read it myself yeah if I have the time la. but so this might might point towards Diddy being like one of like the establishment's agents la. Mm. like Epstein la. this guy was just like the black version Right, yeah. To control the celebrities, and his Galen was like her, uh, his um, assistant. Oh wow! Yeah, Galen Maxwell. Uh, like his version of Galen Maxwell was his assistant. Ah, I see. I see. Going yeah. out to to recruit all this. Yes, and when uh, people approached her to like complain about all this shit, like hey, wh- why why is he doing this? Like, yeah, like. Can you like help me? Yeah. It's like, oh no, it's it's all right, it's all right. Yeah. You yeah, you you'll be all right. Yeah. All this kind of shit lah. Right. Yeah. Wow. And his his assistant is a female lah. Female. I wow. think she might be either Armenian or Jewish lah. Uh, either one lah. Right. Or m- maybe Arabic or what? But yeah. Wow. Yeah, something. She's not white lah. I don't th- think she's white. Something the older ones is P D D has. Uh, some or not there was rumored connection between him and Tupac's death so right is it oh really I, 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 I don't know about that uh, was it the other guy I was not, not too sure the drive-by issue thing Tupac wasn't it wasn't it Biggie they said that there was beef between them but it was like I don't know mm. yeah until now it's still not gang related right apparently <laughs> that's the that's what they said la, but it can be also driven business driven or so mm-hmm. like rival rivalry there's no, there's like no doubt in a lot of people's mind that if Tupac was still around now, he'd be super big. Oh, for sure, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Even Biggie, what now? People are saying Biggie that Smalls. Biggie Smalls might have been offed. Mm. Yeah, a lot of the because like this guy was his friend, right? Isn't PDD and Biggie's? Yeah, yeah. I think so. I think so. There's a lot of like you know, East Coast West. Coast, I don't know what gang they were from. Mm-hmm. Like this one killed that one. That one killed this one. Back right. then, lah. Like, now is this one kill you in like beef beefing songs. <laughs> it's all like the Wait, songs. Was it even like something to do with the gang or No, there was a beef. There was a there was a beef going on, right? They were they yeah. were dissing each other on their tracks and people were yeah. loving it, like, yeah, that's music, man. Then somebody, you know, pop, pop, gone too far. Right, right. Pop, right. pop. They're trying to stop that now. So now it's like spreading rumors. Yeah, he gay. Yeah. And then he mm. gay. And then they're yeah. going around. Uh I'm p- I'm pretty surprised that Takashi sixty nine you know, is not part of his crew. Uh, one, one that of guy was in trouble A lot of people no, that, Off him also that, right? Yeah that guy was because different He, r- he yeah. ratted a lot of people Like he's branded a rat if, if there's a gay rapper He'll be the first one I ask you <laughs> yeah. the, the amount of tattoos On his face Yeah uh, <laughs> That guy was he Gun was, running uh, y- uh, Not only that la, Like I think He was like Pretending like He was like Some big time Like gangbanger You're Right But He was just Hanging around With people Who were seriously Doing it and it's like the Mexican cartel or someone like they wanted to offer him what? Because they actually too confronted much, right? him, yeah. He was talking too much, right? About like the operations that's going on behind the scenes. And Correct, something like that, yeah. yeah. Then he went to jail, right? Didn't he go to jail? Like they arrested him, right? Yes, yes, yeah. And now now he's out, lah. But didn't he get whacked by two by three fellas, right? Yes. In the in the toilet or something. Yeah, the I think Mexicans, are. By the Mexicans, right? Mm, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, must must have been Mexicans, but I don't know whether it's. Mexican cartel or mm, I think my l- look at look at the three Mexicans I think most likely la. <laughs> what? no la, because Mexicans got different one but w- one of them got the Norteños then Mexi- uh, Leme is uh, Southern Mexicans MS-13 MS-13 is different El Salvador oh yeah but, yeah. Also, but they have a stronghold in Mexico also, right? then got Latin Kings the thing is that right. they wouldn't just end it with him with just beating him up or they would have like no be- dude it was all caught on film 
Oh. It was a video that got released. He got Could it be like cloud bashed what, in the toilet? Like, no, like one of them released, put it on social media, yeah, right? and oh. say that this is what is this is what will happen to you if, if you it, read yeah. this out loud. Yeah. Yeah. So I think it, it's personal, and they were willing to take the heat, lah. Mm. And apparently, he was also involved in with like underage girls or some shit like that. Okay. So they were like, "Don't come back mm. to New York or Puerto Rico. Or don't want fuck shit, lah." Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. So Puerto he was Puerto like, "Persona non grata for." For quite some time, then mm. he from nowhere came back, and then now he's like accepted in some way. I don't know. I don't know. <sighs> yeah, but what he's out like He's a free man now. Yeah. He's why? Free. Why it was all set up like how Kiara Kitty went to set up her aging? The bashing wasn't set up, lah. The bashing was definitely not set up. <laughs> yeah, the bashing was. <laughs> yeah. So it was set up. The guy was the in a fetal <laughs> position <laughs> in the floor. <laughs> he was being bashed in his boxes, lah. Yeah. They put him out, dragged him out from the toilet. Eh. Yeah, like it was. It's quite bad, lah. It's quite bad. And for someone who in the uh, videos and all, like fucking gangster, like, like yeah, yeah, he looked pretty pathetic. It, yeah, it, it was not fun. Yeah, but he was jumped, lah. That's yeah, he was jumped. That, yeah, by <laughs> multiple <laughs> fathers. <laughs> but also, that's a. Uh, he can play the victim all he wants, but he put himself in that position also, lah. Oh, all the definitely. shit that he's talking. Definitely, about. definitely, definitely. Not that. Mm. Yeah, Daniel Hernandez calling himself Takashi sixty nine. Yeah, uh, face tattoo. You know, like yeah. Actually, no, just Takashi six nine. Mm. Yeah. Um, ah, yo. Yeah. So what's going what's going to happen to PDD? Is he facing like jail time? Hopefully, no, uh, it's still it's still being. Yeah, like yeah. <laughs> we don't know what's going to go on, but I'm pretty sure this one it'll be kept alive, lah. Black yeah. Twitter will keep it alive. Will he link up with uh, Vince McMahon and be like, hey, bro? Huh? Tell me your stories, lah. I want to learn from you. Uh, I've yet to take a shit on a guy's head. But, <laughs> but, in but from from the stories here, right? Vince McMahon seems like a saint. <laughs> <laughs> this guy is like trying to control people's lives, eh? Yeah. At least Vince McMahon they try to control one person's oh, life. One person's life. This one, this yeah. multiple people, and, and like, and you can argue that the bitch might have liked it at some point. Exactly. She's like exactly. I'll I'll take two things in my <laughs> ass, but can I fly in a private jet? Yeah. It's like okay, okay, fine, I'll do it. No, I I I, I don't mind like yeah. three fellas shitting on my head. Yeah, like just when I feel better. Oh. Yeah. Oh no. Like can I get that rose voice? Reply was like just when I feel better. Yeah. I'm 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 turning a corner. I'm like I, yeah. I will feel better soon. Like after taking a ride in your Rolls Royce. Yeah. I think I'm I'm, I'm I mean, good. What, what I'm good for the weekend. Like the question I would ask is, what if he had paid the what 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 she was owed? Hmm. Who is he? Vince McMahon? Vince McMahon. But, like, what would she have done if she was paid? Would she still claim the things she's claiming? or it's mm. Because right now, this whole thing started off because he stopped payments. Yes, correct, correct. So, that's, yeah, that's yeah, here's yeah. the thing. Like, yeah. like, it sounds horrible, everything she's done, and I'm pretty sure it, w- it did happen to her, but the reality of it is she only brought this up because I, she I've wasn't being paid. But I've got no yeah. issue with her trying to collect the money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I have got no issue with that. The only issue I have, right, is with people who paint, are trying, trying to paint her, paint as, her a as a victim. Mm. Yeah. The bitch is not 20 years old. No, no. She she's in the late 30s. She though. is getting back. She wants to get what she was entitled to. Yeah. yeah. Because that was shit. what was promised to her. Yeah. For all the literal and shit that and she was yeah. taking. <laughs> and also, in context, she's not a young kid. You know, if, if she's young, she's like 18, 19 year old. Okay, mm. fine. Maybe like the allure of money and fame. No, and it seemed like that number was agreed upon. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So yeah, yeah. it was agreed upon, right? Him negating or, uh, like, like taking his shit word back. Yeah. That's a scum move, lah. Right. But okay, lah. It makes sense why he did it. Yeah. Because people were outing him. Mm. They were saying that, oh, you know, he's a fucking pussy hound. He was doing this, right. doing that, doing this, doing that. And then when there were multiple accusations, that was when he, I think his lawyers, advised him and said that, don't don't make any payments. Right, mm. because someone like came out to say that he he has made like multiple hush payments to keep people quiet. To uh. keep people quiet. Yeah, I think that was when he stopped paying. Right, mm. right, right, right. Yeah, you see, if only PDD and Vince McMahon <laughs> knew each other, right? And PDD could recommend that friend. Yeah, we wouldn't know to be like keep maybe it quiet. They do. Right. Maybe they do. And then maybe they do know each other. You know, it it <laughs> made it made me think of like billions, uh, billions. Right, where Axel Rod, right? Yeah, had the had the guy who would like go out and like collect info, intel. Oh and, like, yeah, arrange yeah, yeah. for shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. I I forgot the actual actor's name, but he was uh, Tim what? Uh, 
McManus uh, from Oz. He was the Oz the manager, what? Right. I, I I yeah. I can't remember the guy's name as well. Yeah, but yeah. He, but he he played the character well, la, He's like, like a janitor, la. He cleans up. People, like he looks, he snoops around for info and then cleans info, up the yeah. mess. And he gets whatever shit, uh, Bobby Axel wrote once. Yeah. He's a fixer. He's a fixer, la. Yeah. Fixer for the right amount of money. I I think everyone needs a fixer, la. Yeah. Yeah. We can't afford one. I, I, think I think every billionaire <laughs> would have multiple fixers. Cause when you have that fixers, kind of money, I think. Yeah. That's why we need more patron members to join us. So that we can hire our own fixer. Yes. Yeah. We yeah. do. But, but at this point in time, we're still safe. I, I think we, we need, we don't we have need a lot of Joe Rogan like amount of cash. <laughs> yeah. Amount of cash to do the problem yeah, is fixes. that we, we don't even have a lot of things to... It'll be like wasted money because yeah. we don't have a lot of things to hide. Not yet. Yeah. La. yeah. No, we need a fixer to bring us into Spotify. Cut us a Spotify deal. <sighs> like yeah. Joe Rogan. Yeah. What to blackmail the CEO of Spotify? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta we gotta start off. Uh, yeah. We gotta start off small. We have to get uh, Gary Tan to help us get a interview with Miss Pui, because Gary Gary can get things done. He can, yeah, yeah. Gary can get things done. He's a he is a yeah. fixer. But before that, we need a new studio. Wait. Oh yeah, yeah, that's true. Wait, Gary has interviewed Mark Maron, right? Ye- a eh? lot, a lot of people. I think so. Yeah, he's gotten and, interviews uh, with Neil Brennan. Neil Brennan, yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that is crazy. That's right. wild. That's crazy for a Singaporean podcaster to have interviewed two such people, right? Yeah, yeah. Not again. And podcast. his podcast is like not well known. Yeah, yeah, it's not again podcast. Yeah, you know, and yeah. then he's I I mean, it's kind of low uh low profile, mm. Mm. but I I honestly think he can. Isn't get Mark Maron's podcast one of the world's biggest podcasts? Yeah, WTF. Yeah, Mark Maron, yeah, mm. it's huge. Yeah. New Brand's podcast, mm, so so, uh, but he was a writer on the Chappelle Show. La. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, so that's true. He's so, so he's anything, quite well anything known. is possible. So if we can just maybe maybe we'll rent the Longkang Kitty's Red Room. Mm. Get right. uh, Mr. It's called Red Room, right? Not Red Room, right? No, Red, Red. Yeah, Red. red. Yeah. So red, get yeah. the Red Room b- b- loan. But after a couple of room. tequila shots, you might be Red Room. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> now, now, this kind of things. Or yes, we need a fixer. Pai-tio. We need a Pai-tio. fixer for that. We need a fixer to 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 to, to, to fix. When the like lights that. go off, right? And we, we tell the guests, don't worry, it's just a power outage. <laughs> <laughs> don't don't worry. Yeah. It happens yeah. all we, we have a couple time. of candles here in the we're gonna light the candles up. Yes. And then uh, you just lie on this mat on e- the floor. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Wh- why why d- don't worry about the don't, wine. It's don't just don't worry that we are all naked, right? Because the aircon is not uh, has been switched off. It's, it's a little warm in here. Warm. It's a little warm. Yeah. Uh, so that's the reason why we all said to wear track shoes, yeah. uh, track suits. We don't like to sweat in our clothes. We like to sweat naked. Little oh, all oh, wearing a uh, oh, wearing a uh, mix colours of track suits. Yeah. yeah. Like the colors of our mics. Like yeah, like we are from the mafia, the New York families in the eighties. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> tracksuit mafia. Tracksuit yeah. mafia. Yeah. Uh, Josie will fit right in because he's got enough kicks to match yeah. whatever colors he he wears. Right, but I don't I don't get it sweaty lah. So I'm gonna yeah. remove my my tracksuit. Yeah, <laughs> just rip it off. <laughs> Blue, yeah. yellow. But uh, I I was shocked that uh none of the people involved in the case were actually porn stars that were right. named. Right. Because, you know, for this kind of debauchery, where do you go? May- maybe it's so bad, right, that the porn stars will be like, we don't want to get involved. Yeah. Like. Yeah, get the hookers. <laughs> Firstly, you're not paying us an- enough money. Secondly, uh, yeah, black male rappers are not outing. Yeah. <laughs> 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 if only you had chosen red color. Oh no, there yeah. are black porn stars who would, who would be who so happy to to be to be part of the entourage. Part of them, yeah. Right. yeah. They may be, <coughs> but apparently it's a very deadly. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. Maybe may, I'm speaking like without even like counter check, like checking, mm. researching whether the porn stars I was thinking of uh, are they still alive. It's I a, see. It's a yeah. deadly profession. I, uh, uh, I mean, deadly for yourself, lah. Mm. Yeah. Apparently. Recently, the, the bad news that uh, one porn star took her own life by putting a shotgun in her mouth and pulling the trigger. Kurt Cobain style. Wow. Holy crap. Uh, was she on any substance mm. when she did that? Didn't... Can I just say, as sad as the story is, right? Can I just say that her uh, multitasking skills are tr- is through the roof? Why? Being able to put the shotgun in her mouth and then pull the trigger. How is that multitasking? And, and, not, and not missing. Not missing a shot. Oh, you mean like... No, uh, you put your mouth onto the fucking muzzle. Yeah. And then you just press. Right. How hard is that? Uh, no, it, it women with bad aim. <laughs> they could... She could have she could missed. No, there's no way she could miss. Right. 
because she already fucking gave the muzzle a deep throat. Right. So if it's in the mouth, there's no missing. Depending on the amount, uh, number of cocks that she had, maybe the, the gun might, you know, slip right through. Even and better. She, and she might have choked on the rifle instead. Uh, it doesn't say, <laughs> but it yeah. seems like... Uh, Wait, what's her name? Cagney Lynn Carter. Yeah. Right. So she had issues with Chris Brown. Huh? Yeah, she, she had a feud with Chris Brown. He claimed that he paid her 2500 to be an escort and then posted a pic of, the, of her and an escort and posted a pic of the singer's uh, of Chris Brown's genital online. Uh, Ooh. Well, for 2005, that's quite low though. Well, I guess. I think so. Is he rocking a piece though? Uh, if that Brown a piece. paid her to be his escort as she shared pics of the singer's penis on Twitter, okay. which eventually got her, her account suspended. Yeah. Then I think, I think after that, it was like, Chris Brown was like, nah, that's not my dick. Was my dick's t- too small. It's my dick's too big. No, the, be, the photo's be, too small. Because that is akin to like revenge porn, right? Like That's true. Yeah, because if it happens to a girl, people will be like, oh, yeah. how can you do that? So this yeah. one and so on. The fella did, if, if it was him, it was all done in confidence. Mm. And then this bitch. Yeah. Now this uh, dead bitch. Yeah, yeah, it was like the Lim- Lim- Ka- Carter also said that Brown thought that the deal uh, they made included sex. Mm. But when she didn't, then he proceeded to bully her online or something like that. Uh. But that one, I think, was dropped. 2005, uh, $2,005, $2,500, $2, $2, $2, $2, $2, $2, $2, $2, $2, $2, $2, $2, $2, $2, $2, $2, $2, $2, $2, $2, $2, $2, $2, $2, $2, $2, $2, $2, $2,
drugs apparently have like fentanyl cut in it in the, mm. in the yeah, states. Maybe, yeah, maybe. It's just a cheaper option. Because they were like to, saying to it. it's also quite a weird move from because she seems to be moving away from it. She started right. her own yoga studio. Oh okay. Two thousand nineteen. Uh, oh, okay. So oh, she, this Cagney, okay. Yeah, so she did her own her own thing and then this move comes after like uh the only thing is that they did say she was struggling with mental health issues la, as mm. the years passed. Right. And she was alone when that yeah. happened, so she was alone to her. Could own. it be Chris Brown? <laughs> Uh, no, nah, you revenge porn. I think me that, was, that was like some time ago. Right? Oh, okay, okay. That was some time ago. Dude, right. but like the the world of porn stars, right? You you got to like imagine, right? Like August Ames was bullied into it. Right? I I don't understand why she actually off the uh, because, because she trans, was uh, the, yeah, but the, she the was actually putting up a really good fight. No, yeah, yeah, she was. Right, she was being bullied. Yeah, she was being bullied on Twitter. Yeah, like the, the, on comments, Twitter. the commenters and all that were saying that she's being hateful and all that, but she was actually just more concerned about her own. Her reason for saying is yeah. that she was no, but she. Mm. Sh- it seemed right like she was um, very strong with the position mm. Mm. because she said that. Wait, wait, what I'm saying right is I'm flagging a health issue, a mm. health risk. Like I don't want to work with men mm. who do shoot like buy or gay scenes without, pr- without without protection or without the 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 what the necessary health checkups. Right. Right. I don't want to work with them. Because right. I don't want to put myself uh, at the risk. La. Mm. So she posted something like that because she uh, found out that a male talent that was on set to work with her, mm. that guy was doing like gay stuff. Mm. Mm. And I think her contract or some shit like that, right? Like she explicitly says that she won't work with those men who do that. La. Right. Yeah. Right. So she's like, I, I don't want to work. Then that became a thing. And I think someone went to like post on um I remember this story on actually. Twitter or yeah. some shit. So she gave her side of the story la. Yeah. Then there were few people who were supporting her. Right. Saying that that is totally fair. Mm. Mm. And then there were other like female and male porn stars yeah. who started saying that you are you are just a cunt. You're being a cunt. Mm. And all this kind of shit. La. Then like she was like, how am I why why should I put your fucking pocket? Yeah. Ahead of my life Or some shit like that mm. So it was like Back and forth Back and forth Back and forth Like there are blogs And all Or there are articles About it la. Like yeah. they show The entire thread And then eventually She just said la, Like this industry Is so fucked up mm. Where you are You know You want to Make a good living And then you are Being attacked for Your your principles And all this kind of shit yeah. Then the next day She was dead Wow yep. Th- This was before OnlyFans right Oh yeah, before OnlyFans. Yeah. Well, yeah. Blame OnlyFans then. And she and she was married, no? She was married, oh, no? And she was at the pinnacle. Right. Mm-hmm. When when she died, right, she was like almost at the top. Wow. Yeah, that doesn't make any uh, uh, that doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make sense. Yeah, it doesn't make sense. Eh. Yeah. Because the thread that was on Twitter, right? Yeah. S- made her seem very, very strong. Right. Because after that, right, people were like supporting her. Yeah. Saying that it makes sense, lah. Yeah. Like it's yeah, her choice anyway, what? It's her choice, what? End like, of the day. Yeah. Yeah. If you really want to take risks, right? Then, like in their mentality, lah, mm. is that hey, this industry is plagued with like all sorts of funky behavior. Mm. I don't want to be a part of it. Yep. And then you get singled out and like bullied for it. Mm. Then she was like, "No, I'm not going to stand for it." Yeah. Then suddenly the next day she offs her, kills herself. Like, oh shit! Then you're like, huh? Wow. Like, it was it was quite weird, lah. And where was the husband when she took her own life? No, she he, she was in a what a uh, car park. Yeah, like it was. Did weird, the uh, husband pull the trigger? No, uh, wait, which one? Oh no, uh, Ames uh, August hung Ames. herself. Yeah. Huh. But she had cocaine, marijuana, antidepressants, and anti and, and solic uh, Xanax, uh, Xanax. In her, Jesus. In her, Fucking yeah, twenty three uh, years old, Nina. Wow. Yeah, she was at found dead in the park. Wow, I mean she hung herself in the park. <sighs> like, strange. W- uh. Like yeah, very strange lah. But Very with all strange. that in her system, I think she must not be on sound mind, I guess. Mm, yeah. Did she have a history of like drug abuse as well? No, if you but the thing is that if you're smoking weed, right, then why would you take Xanax? Mm, True. I'm not sure. And then True. Coke. You had Coke. And then you have weed. Then you got fucking opioids. Yeah. It's like everything is like a cocktail. It's like, wait. Very, very, very weird. And in the park, uh, in the, was found was found in the park, yeah. Who's to say, lah? It sounds like you know the who, who was it, uh, that that this guy who claimed to have um, 
uh, Hillary Clinton's emails and then he he threatened to release it and then he was oh. found uh, uh, hung in a hang in the park yeah as well and then shot as well in the chest or something was that about the briefcase shit I think so dude yeah 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 yeah, a couple of years ago, right? Public mm. space. Yeah, this as sounds a, this a, sounds something. A, it sounds like a, a statement, though. A statement to other people. Sounds like trying tr- someone trying to make a statement. Yep. And then the th- this fellow who who hang and shoot himself uh, ruled a suicide. Ah. <laughs> I was like, what? Uh, what's his name? Um, to kill a messenger. Gary Webb. Yeah. But Gary Webb. That one so what? Uh, two bullets in it. Two bullets back of the head. Shot himself twice. Yeah. You know. Uh, suicide. Palm, palm. Yeah, the first one is like, oh, I think I didn't hit my brain. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, let me let me shoot myself again. The fact that you can shoot yourself once and have the thing, uh, I don't know, pa palm. And all your faculties to work. Hmm? Yeah. Fantastic. I mean, when yeah. you're missing part of your brain. <laughs> the thing yeah, is, but, I also mm. wouldn't shoot myself from the back of my head. I would do from the front, right? The porn industry, right, is so weird. I read this story, right. On the da- the database, it will be known as the database mm-hmm. from now onwards. Yeah. So it was this guy, who was, shared the the whole thread is about, uh, people and, uh, reflecting on their experiences with porn stars. Right. Mm-hmm. So they, they book porn stars as escorts. Right. Yeah. Uh, it has got a very big following. That thread has. So one of the fucked up stories mm. was about this porn star called Tori Lane. Mm-hmm. Right. So, this guy, he was working, uh, he flies in and out of, like, Vegas and Calif- California quite often. La. Right. So, he did say that he can afford to book them, like, every now and then. Mm. So, like, every few months, he would, like, like see which porn star he really wants or whatever and see if he can contact and, like, yep. get them to come over la, yep. to the hotel that he stays at. So, he always stay at a nice five-star hotel and mm. everything. So, they are... Always keen to meet yep. once he makes the arrangements and all that. So he found out that Tori Lane mm. was available in Vegas. Yeah. That she was available in Vegas. So he was like, made the contact and everything. Yeah. Set up all the meeting. Okay, I'll meet you at the, my hotel lobby at the bar. Uh, we can have a few drinks and discuss shit before we go out. La. So she came, started having drinks, and it was like, oh, she was like nicely dressed. And everything Then he did say that he Likes using cocaine While fucking lah And she was like Yeah Let's do it let's, Yeah let's start Can't say po- no to coke Can't say no to coke Yeah So they went up st- uh, Started doing a couple of lines Yeah And then The sex started And was quite wild mm. And then at one point She puked mm. All over the bed Right <laughs> Right yeah. So she puked all over the bed, and this guy was like, "Oh fuck, man!" Like, yeah. Did she puke on herself as well? Right? She puked on herself. Yeah, she puked on herself and on the bed and on 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 this fellow as well. Yeah. This is gonna be challenging. And then <laughs> he was like, "Fuck this!" Like, yeah. Uh, no, no, you you go clean yourself. Oh. You want to clean yourself? Then she was like, "No, you go ahead." Yeah. So you he was like, "Okay, no, I'll go first, lah." Yeah. And uh, he was like, um, "Maybe, you, yeah. Once I come out, I'll get the." Um, Fucking cleaners to come and clean housekeeping to come and clean lah. Yeah. So he went in right when yeah. he came out. Yeah. A guy is fucking her. <laughs> on the on the puke. On, on the, the p- on the puke. On the puke. Uh, you know who was the guy now? Housekeeping. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, housekeeping. So he <laughs> was like, wait, what the hell is this? Yeah. Like, what the hell is this? Like, <laughs> I was I was not even in the shower for like five minutes. <laughs> I just had to wash myself and uh, I had to come out so that she could wash herself Yeah. so I can call the fucking fellas to come and how is she fucking and how is that guy fucking her yeah. when she's full of puke? <laughs> <laughs> he saw an opportunity he had to take it like what are the uh, what are the chance oh what are the odds I'm not even paying for this that's wild and the guy wanted to leave right she held him back <laughs> As in the the the, the protagonist the of the story, lah. Yeah. No, no, no. The housekeeping. The housekeeping. Yeah. When he saw there's another guy in the toilet, right? Yeah. What? Yeah. Shit. Yeah. So like, then the guy like, eventually he left, right? Yeah. Like, yes. I'm sorry. 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 sorry, sorry. Yeah. yeah. And then, she still had like come on her. Yeah. She had puke on her. Yeah. And then he was like, "Do you want to like wash yourself?" You know what she did, not she? Yeah. She said, "No, just fuck me." <laughs> and. She was like, no, no, no. I don't. I don't think like yeah. can happen anymore. No. She just put on a dress and she left. Oh wow! 
Coke makes you do wild things. Yeah. <laughs> and like yeah. he he went like really like into like details about the fucking lah. Yeah. And he said that it it like like she became like a monster mm, mm. while while fucking and he was also taken aback la, right like, like a lot of choking and stuff right like yeah, really yeah. Like, it yeah. was like she was possessed it was like right. she was possessed right. and then like he said la, like eventually he was thinking about it and like he didn't know whether it was a coke yeah. or it was like her own personal demons or yeah. she was possessed like <laughs> he couldn't tell right yeah I and think it's all of the above la. that's the answer yeah yeah, yeah. So answer he, D all he of said the above. that that experience right made him like Stop doing coke If right. he Ever wanted to Like Fuck any porn star Right Yeah He <laughs> was like Oh I was like, Later he shit. finds out That she was actually Sober Or yeah. like Off coke For the v- longest of time Yeah He, he caused her to like he caused her to In the worst way In yeah. the worst way possible It just whacked her In the Like whoa I've missed this lane. It's a video so, uh, Pretty fucking Insane as well Yeah Pretty fucking insane Yeah pretty uh, Insane as well Yeah Okay Yeah she's not normal lah Right She's not normal She's got the crazy bitch Kind of vibes as well Yeah I want to hear a life story though <laughs> What happened when you were 12? <laughs> <laughs> oh there, there must be something wrong Yeah There must be seriously something wrong How many uncles stick How many fingers in your vagina When you're oh. 14? It's a distinct possibility <laughs> <laughs> Because quite a number Like uh, I remember You you have watched it right uh, 9 to 5 days in porn Yeah uh, Hot Girls Wanted How many different Documentaries All like mm. Actually pointed One thing out la, That they are all Most of them mm, mm. There are some of them no, no issues whatsoever Right And they just like Come in because of an Ex-boyfriend or something Yeah mm. or The ones some, you don't someone, hear about yeah. Like it started off from like Strip Strip dancing yep. Pole dancing And then like It transitioned like Damn quick mm. Mm. And the 9 to 5 days in porn Was like Wow Molested as a kid. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> differing, differing stories. Like My mom never loved me. Some, yeah. Some say they don't have issues. They do it. They go into it willingly. Mm. Others say like you know abuse. Has then there's a Sasha Gray also yeah. like, Good family and mm. like smart kid, and then she just want to experiment. Like, yeah. What? Yeah. Sa- Sasha Gray was like anomaly. She's a bit of anomaly. Anomaly lah. Like yeah. I would say even like Mia Khalifa right. Yeah. Did not go to the level of Sasha Gray. Sasha Chris' first scene was what? Five guys, right? Uh, uh, did she go that quick? I have no idea. I d- I no, no. Uh, yeah, eventually there was know, like crazy stuff going on. Yeah. I only know Mi- Mia Khalifa uh, played with her own life la, by doing choosing to go down that route. Oh, yeah. yeah. Or being like Lebanese and all that, right? No. She was in America like at a young age. Oh, yeah. okay. But like, he's talking about the... Bur- the Wearing the hijab. The, yeah. Right? yeah, the hijab, yeah. To start yeah. that, la. that's right. quite dangerous. But, is it, la. but that's a practical thing also, right? Once you have come on your face, you use that to wipe it off. Yeah, uh, but... Limb waving. Uh, uh, yes. <laughs> yes, limb waving. Limb waving. There, there, is, there are certain groups out there that does not like it. It's like, no, that mm. is not for then wiping when they When they have sex with their wives, do they ask the wife to remove the head be- the headgear? <sighs> You will never know. Or do uh, you ask the wife to you keep it on? You're know. asking the wrong audience. Yes, yeah, you will never know. <laughs> I'm asking some of our audience and who may be in that uh, demographic. Yes. I like how you call it headgear. <laughs> <laughs> that, that is the, the <laughs> porn category term. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a headgear so that when he slacks, uh, slaps you with the dick, right, yeah. you won't feel the full impact of it. But you might suffer concussion. Uh, Mia Khalifa got so much shit for that because she originates from that part of the world. Right. So people took it as like, hey, bitch, you do whatever you want. La. Why you need to pull this shit in? Yeah. But also the fuckers who are watching it, right? If they are Muslims, can they be considered good Muslims? <sighs> For you to get angry. That right? one I can't tell. Yeah. I'm jerking off to Mia Khalifa, but I'm upset that she's wearing headgear. <laughs> like, I'm so conflicted. You know? Mm, because it's not a reality. It's like, that's not real. Yeah. You know in Sunday school when, when, your, when your teacher say, uh, hey, you, you're not. You didn't close your eyes during prayer. Yeah, it's like bitch. Your eyes are open as well for you to see that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I didn't close my eyes. <laughs> you're like, aha. Uh-huh. Yeah. The prayers so. work. I I prayed that I could pray. No, I'm blind. <laughs> like I'm blind. Just like suddenly can't see. I don't know. <coughs> it's quite sad that uh, this had to happen to uh, you know, ladies who are earning a reasonable um income yeah. income. But it's but shocking she, la, I that think she it, it has happened like to porn stars except for August Ames, right? The rest of them were from I think late nineties 
early 2000s yeah. Yeah, and then they die now during that yeah. year because apparently. people were struggling then mm. Mm. Jenna Jameson is still alive mm. Janine Lyndon Muller is still alive mm. quite a number of them who like really the fell pioneers. off the wagon the pioneers yeah Janine Lyndon Muller got got her man stolen by Sandra Bullock oh uh, what's the fellow's name uh, Jesse James uh, the guy who built the, the mo- 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 yeah, yeah. Mo- the bike right yeah yeah that was um Imagine how many lives are OF has saved, you know, by giving women another out, another yeah. opportunity, to make something yeah. that they can control, yeah. and then they have no the like no risk of abuse. There's no like middle oh, management, right? Definitely I mean, risk. like no risk of abuse from agents and all. But oh. recently, more like, because now most the, like some of the OFs ones, I think, uh, they've said that it's agency run. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, right. Agency, yeah, yeah. agency has taken over. Yeah. yeah. I think that was from like within few months of OF like picking up, right? Mm. All these people came in, like Andrew Tate and Tristan Tate were making money from this one. Mm. Mm-hmm. Maybe that's what we should be doing. Where they were the agents, they were the managers. We have the perfect name for it, right? Yeah, yeah. we have the perfect name. It's like L O L, L O L. Into the low bunk. L O L Inc. L O L Inc. Yeah, well, lots yeah. of fans. Lots. Yeah, our lots. first, uh, our first, what what do you call someone? Our first talent mm. to acquire would be Nick Tang sixty nine. Ah. Who's retired? Is she in Singapore? Not in. Uh, I that she, one I don't know. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. Okay. And on that note, if if someone made it this far, yeah, they deserve it, lah. They deserve. And it. if you know who Nikki Tang sixty nine is, or not know, check her on OnlyFans. Yeah. Please let us know. Drop drop her a dollar or a dime. Wait, is it that account like fifty bucks or some shit like that? I have no idea. I Just think pay so. Pay for it, lah. I think so. And let us know. No idea. Yeah. Ciao. Ciao. Ciao.